What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Wednesday the 4th of September and I'm starting today's vlog in the studio alone on my own. Um, Imogen starts college today so basically Sarah took Imogen to college. Right now she's dropped her off then she's going to come back over here and then I'm going to go and get the kids at about half two in the afternoon. It's currently half twelve in the afternoon so starting today's vlog off, vlog off, vlog, 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 vlog off in the studio because as I said yesterday in the evening I have now got to come over here twice sometimes three times a day so that we can get these orders finished now over here if you go over here I'm doing an order at the minute for a guy called Nick and Nick's order is a sand trooper backpack and he's also one in a um, E22 blaster and he's also one in a shore trooper helmet this is the shore trooper helmet how it's coming on it's looking pretty good I haven't done one of these before so it's like a I'm learning as I go along the bits that are coming off for it though are looking absolutely fantastic so um, I'm gonna crack on with him I've got a box of matchmakers because I mean who doesn't like matchmakers the mint ones are amazing um, the orange ones are nice as well the salty caramel ones are poison so if you don't want to get poorly avoid the salty caramel ones they are absolutely poison so I'm gonna wait Sarah to get back I'm gonna crack on we've got to send this out this is a box of lights that um, someone's bought from Sarah she don't need anymore they're getting shipped off to Birmingham um, I've got some parcels that I need to wrap up as well and get out I've got to get some scout trooper armor out I've also got to get a scout trooper helmet out so there's loads going on today. So without further ado, we're gonna get this Wednesday officially started. A little later. Hi everyone. So it don't look like I've just got home from college, but I have. Um, and my hair was straight, but um, it's been raining. So it's got a bit curly and frizzy at the bottoms, but I'm gonna get a shower um, after this. Um, I just need to obviously I need to tell you about this, what happened at college today. Nobody actually realised, except from the group that I was actually sitting with um, in college. So I'll tell you up to the point where it gets to that song. Um, we got in and we got like this time, we had to get in this line to get our like timetable. Like not our actual timetable because we didn't get that until we got to the tutor class. Um, but... When, as soon as I got my timetable, um, we went to the principal um, speech. It was called like a, I don't know, I can't remember what it was called and I've not got the slip of bind it. Um, but we had a principal speech and then that took about around an hour. Um, and then we went to IT to get like our logins and everything up to date and get our f phone numbers like on the actual system. So then we had our numbers and we had to download the app and we got our Wi-Fi, all that. Um, so yeah, got Wi-Fi so I don't need to waste my data now. Not, not that I need my phone anyway, but like a break and, well I've not got a break, I've got like 500 breaks. Like, there's no need for how many breaks we've got, but I've already planned how I'm going to waste my breaks. My breaks are going to be revision for English, because I've actually got an exam in November for my English language. I passed everything, absolutely everything except for my drug affair, which I don't care about my drug affair, I didn't want my drug affair. I know it's not, doesn't sound good, but I didn't need my drug affair. Geography was just there because I had to pick it. I either had to pick drug affair, history, Spanish or French, and any of them, I wouldn't have passed anyway. I could have passed history. I could have passed geography if I revised enough, but I had more things to worry about than geography. I didn't need or want geography, so I've not got it. Um, but I did hope that I would have passed my English language, but I did pass my literature. I passed everything except for my English language, and I was pretty um, devastated because I needed my language. I needed my language. I didn't need my literature. Well, I, th I don't know whether you need your literature, but I would have wrapped rather past language because literature is easier than language 
but then you've got to read loads of other books with literature so i'm glad i've got language um but yeah um i've got to revise for that but as soon as it came to dinner um after i'd come out of it this bag right here decided that it wanted to be wet at dinner so i had i think the bottle's downstairs mum's pink bottle that she got from tesco and I decided I'm going to use this for the day, put some water in it, went to college, used it because I needed to drink water because obviously I like drinking water and I love drinking water and water's just my fav favourite um, drink to drink because it's hydrating. Um, I'm just waffling now, let's just get straight to the point. Um, so I accidentally left the bottle lid open without noticing that the bottle lid was open. So we'd gone out the door because we were going to go to Tesco with um, my mates, um, D and K. I'm going to call them D and K because you don't need to know the names. Um, and we didn't end up going to Tesco because it was raining. So we came back inside. Weirdly, my hair stayed straight for then, but then it didn't when I came, when I finished college for some weird reason. So then I went to sit back down at the same table I was sat at anyway and I stood there and everyone was like Imogen your bag's wet it's leaking and I just stood there and looked at my bag and looked at my leg my leg wasn't as wet as it it could have been it just had like a few drops like rain um but my bag was dripping wet because my bottle had leaked and when I say I don't I'm not over exaggerating <laughs> The whole bottle was full, and when I took the bottle out of my bag, it was empty. Like, it was it was empty. Like, when I say empty, I mean there wasn't even a sip of water for me to drink. Not the tiniest bit. So, the first thing I did was get my paper out when I had electric stuff in there. I decided to get my book out. I was like, <laughs> I'm saving my book. So, so I got the book out and I gave it to my friend and she's took it home because I forgot to get it back and I didn't see her at the end of the day. So I'm meeting her tomorrow before college because we've, we've both got the same time to be in college. To So we're, we're going to meet each other in the morning. Um, so as soon as my bag leaked, as soon as I give her the, the book, I still don't decide to take my electric stuff out. I decide to fill the bottle back up. <laughs> right to the top, right to the brim. I decided to fill the bottle right back up. So it's full. <laughs> so I don't think, oh, it's going to leak again. It didn't because I left it out of the bottle. I left it out of the bag. I just carried it around for the rest of the day. And I was actually drinking the water this time. I was just like, yeah, I'm drinking this. Um, but I just left it to like leak. I just, all the papers that I had, I had this plastic wallet right here. I put all oh ow! I put all my paper in here because I thought, well, this is waterproof, so I, it'd most likely survive in this bag. So that's where I put it all. And then in the middle of this bag, it was pretty wet inside, inside of here. It wasn't that damp, but it was wet enough for one pen to leak. Just one. Every other pen survived. I, I made sure that they all survived because I got a piece of paper yesterday and I tested all the colours out on them. All these pens survived. And only one black pen didn't. Like, I would have expected these um, highlighters to leak because I didn't think they were tight enough. I thought I didn't think they were tight enough so water could get through them. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to leave it. If they leak, they leak. It's not my fault. It's... Well, it was my fault because I left the bottle open, but <laughs> it's not really my fault because I didn't design, I didn't design water. So, as soon as that happened and I'd got everything like where it needs to be, I then decided to take my electric stuff out. Oh, lucky me. Everything's fine. Um, my portable charge still works. Luckily, it was at the top of everything, right at the top, so it couldn't even touch the water. So, yeah, and so was my phone. My phone was actually, I threw my phone in my bag and I don't know why, because that's when my bag was leaking and I just thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to chuck my phone into my bag. Great idea, Imogen. No, it's not broke either. Um, 
nothing broke nothing was ruined except from one black pen which it was all right because the the bag is actually black so we don't know if it's if it's made the bag black or but it's black anyway so who cares um but yeah everything survived i don't know if anything in there survived because i know this was wet but i think it was only wet at the bottom I don't think water actually got inside of this. Hopefully not. I don't really want to go in it and check. Because then I know that something will be leaked. And ruined. Dun dun dun. Um. But yeah. I got my time to. I got to my tutor class. After it all. Because obviously my bag had stopped leaking. And I just kept moving it into dry spots. So then. I was. And I didn't actually tell anybody about the leak. Because like. Some one person was actually trying to make it a situation where everybody could see what was going on and everybody was like, oh my god, her bag's leaked, like, oh my god, this is such a funny situation. But everyone was like, no, don't say anything, like, because obviously I don't get embarrassed. I never get embarrassed, but, you know, like, my bag's just leaked and it's my first day and I didn't really want everybody knowing because it was kind of like, it's my first day, just, I don't want to be, like, the centre of attention. Um, but yeah, that happened. So then, as soon as we got to our um, tutor class, I actually got my. Oh, do you let me work life? Dave got it for me yesterday. I actually never thought that he had, that he had um, good style. But you know what? Well done to Dave. I would have actually picked this out myself. So if you ever need someone to pick you a folder out, Dave's on the other end of the line. But yeah, I got my timetable for my lessons. I've only got 13 lessons a week. Um, and then I'm off on Thursdays, which is tomorrow. Um, I'm planning on going to my friend's house tomorrow while I'm off. Very fun. So yeah, that happened today. Um, but yeah. Today was very eventful and I'm glad that I got out when I did. Soon, like we got out 20 minutes early in our tutor class. So I was like, you know what, I'm rushing off and going to see you later. So um, I didn't wait for anyone because of my bag. The simple fact, my bag was leaking. Well, it wasn't leaking anymore, but I just thought um, I'd rather be out now and dodge the embarrassment in case anybody like comes up to me and like oh my god your bag was leaking i know um but ow but yeah that was my day but as soon as i got home yeah i just emptied my bag that's why it's all out here it was on the floor but then because porsche keeps coming in the room i'm just like i don't want to slip in on the pens so i just put them all up here um, I'm going to sort my bag out for Friday because I'm off tomorrow but if I get it all done tonight then it's all done for me to go to college on Friday which is my first full day. I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, I bet your day went 10 times better than mine if you've gone to college or high school and if it has been your first day and your first week. I hope it's been the best because mine certainly didn't start off well. It started well, but it didn't finish well. Um, because yeah, I put my bag on the seat and it had a wet patch as, as I took my bag off the seat and there was a fire right next to me and I was just like, I, no, my, my pants are wet, it's my bag. Um, but yeah, got an exam in, on, in November. So I'm going to be revising for that mainly because I'm going to try and get a higher grade than I actually did. I'm actually glad, like you might think this is stupid what I'm saying. I am glad that I failed English language because now I'm in college. I know that I have to get my head down and do better than I did. And I know that I can do better than I did. And I know that I can revise every single day and be in bed for a good routine because I've got Thursdays off now that can be my study day. Um, which it is my study day um, but tomorrow I'm not treating it as a study day because I've not been given any work I've not had any lessons that I can actually study from um, 
so that's just gonna be like my day my i've not got any work days so it's just my only excuse i've got no work um but starting from tomorrow i will be revising for english and you probably won't see me till november <laughs> joking you will um but i will update you on friday about how my day went and how how i've adapted on my first date um I wonder. The only place I know is the Jeff Higgins building, which is my building, which I've got to go in for health and social care. Because I actually want to be a midwife, if you didn't know. Um, so yeah, um, I've only got two years of college. And then next year in September, which is my second year of college, I actually need to start applying for universities and then go into in in universities, interviews. And also, mum has got me into the dentist. Finally. Um, yeah, I just really needed a dentist because the back of my tooth, right at the back, at the top, is cracked. Like, it's, every time I eat something, like, sometimes, like, something hard, or, like, if I chew on that side too much, it, it like, cracks off. And it gives me a really bad cold tooth, so I have to watch how I'm drinking. Like, I've been getting really bad cold tooth at the moment in my teeth. So I'm just gonna tell I'm gonna tell the dentist that. So luckily, the day I've actually got the dentist is the Thursday that I'm off. Um, and I didn't want to go to the Alton Towers. Um, that the um, college is going on because we found out today we got a letter about the Alton Towers trip, and I've decided not to go on it because the simple fact. I don't like rides. I hate big rides. And if I went there, there would be absolutely no reason for me to go there because there's nothing for me to do there except from eat, drink, walk around and lose some weight. Which I don't need to lose any weight. I need to put weight on. So that's the simple reason. And the best excuse I had was I'm going to the dentist on that day. <laughs> so... I'm glad that mum said that. So yeah, I'm glad that I'm not going to Alton Towers. I'm very glad. And I'm glad that I've got into the dentist. I would rather go to the dentist than Alton Towers because, you know, I'm wasting money on something that I'm not even gonna do. But it's only 23 pound, but still, you could do a lot with 23 pound with a nine people family, with it, no, with a 10. Sorry, why am I saying nine? With a ten kid family, you could do a lot with twenty pound. Like buy food. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> I and um, but I'm gonna start waffling with my um about my life because today was good. And again, I hope this school year is the best year you have, or maybe if it's like um if it's year seven. Um, or maybe year nine and you, it's already started off bad. I hope the rest of the year goes well for you. So um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get all my side cleaned. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try and hoover and mop. The reason I say try is because I've been trying for three days to try and hoover and mop my room and it's not really gone to plan because I've got, I've had college in the way, I've had so much stuff in the way and that's not even an excuse. I just need to mop and hoover my room. I just like leave it till too late that Aurora and Vanellope are in bed and then I'll worry that I'm gonna wake them up so I'll just never end up doing it. But I'm gonna try and do it today. I'll try. Or tomorrow while I'm off. Um if I get back early enough to do it. So um see you later. Later that same evening. Alright guys, so you just did from images she started college, which is fantastic. I'm gonna end today's vlog. Um, still really, really tired. Need to get on my stuff at the office. So um, it was more of an image and vlog today anyway, just so she could tell you exactly what she's been doing at college. So do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell, there's nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can. And we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.